Hi, this is Ahmed Alogaili and Manos Brilakis presenting case 269 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case that was complicated by a dissection caused by the guide catheter. The patient was a woman that presented with progressive dyspnea on exertion. She had a normal ejection fraction and she was found to have a high-grade lesion that was called a CTO on the right coronary artery. However, upon review of the angiogram, one might say that there is actually some flow through that lesion. As a result, it may not actually be a CTO. Nevertheless, she was referred for percutaneous coronary intervention and we did have contralateral injection because flow can be compromised when we try to get through a high-grade lesion like this. So, analyzing the lesion, we do have a well-defined proximal cap. Again, as mentioned, there may be actually a uh, contrast flow going through the occlusion. Distal vessel is diffusely diseased, and there were some septal collaterals. The plan was to go with undergrade wiring, followed by dissection and re-entry undergrade, and if that didn't work, go retrograde through the septals. We tried to advance a guide wire, but it was difficult. We did use a Sion Black wire as well as a turnpike. But the problem was there was likely some dampening of the pressure, and when we gave a little puff, you can see there's a big dissection happening into the right coronary artery. That can be a problem. In our case, we were unable to advance a wire in the true lumen. You can see here the wire is on the extra plug space. So what we decided to do is try to perform re-entry. Fortunately, the patient did not have any acute ischemic symptoms suggesting that this lesion was high-grade and chronic, and there were nice collaterals. Despite using the double-blind stick and swap and trying to aspirate the hematoma, we were unable to re-enter with the wire being still in the extra plug space. So what are the options here? One option would be to go retrograde. The other option would be to star into the PDA and the posterior lateral. However, given the bifurcation, we believe that uh, going retrograde will provide a better result. So we try to go through the first septal. Selective injection doesn't really show a good connection, and uh, sure enough, when we try to cross it, we were unable to get through. We then tried to go through the second septal, and we also had difficulty when we tried to surf. However, once we did a selective injection, we see that uh, there is a nice connection despite tortuosity, high-frequency curves, but there's a continuous connection going to the PDA. So we did try uh, with different wires. This is the SUO03 through a Corsair Excess. The wire is going different location, but eventually it takes the band and then it advances nicely, along, nicely across the course of the RCA. And this is confirmed uh, with contralateral injection. We then delivered the microcatheter and did a tip injection, showing that uh, there was a little bit of filling of the distal right coronary artery. So we're able to advance the retrograde gladius mongo that went all the way into the aorta. And then we advanced the microcatheter all the way into the aorta and then switched to the mongo for an R350 guide wire. And then the next step was to try to snare the wire using an end snare. Unfortunately, we had uh, a lot of difficulty snaring the guide wire. You can see here it looks like it's going through, but actually it's in a different plane. So eventually what we did is advance the guide wire in the, in the brachiocephalic and then got the snare in the brachiocephalic and then the space is smaller and we were able to successfully snare the wire, the R350, using a JR4 and an end snare. After doing that, we were able to advance the JR4 guide all the way to the right coronary artery osteum, and then send it all the way from the distal to the osteal right coronary artery with a nice fine result and a nice patency at the bifurcation. Several lessons from this case. Uh, the first one is that uh, even cases that appear to be simple, in this case we thought we had a nice channel going through that area of occlusion, can actually turn out to be much more complicated. Second, Injections of contrast should always be done very carefully, and there should not be done if there is dampening of the pressure of the guide catheter. That is why it's critical before every injection to confirm that there is good waveform and there is no pressure dampening of the guide catheter. Third, if we have acute vessel dissection, one can try to get into the true lumen, either in the undergrade with reentry or trying to rewire more proximally. 
and the SUO3 can be a good wire to avoid getting into side sections. But if that doesn't work, another option is to go retrograde, which is what was successful in our case. And a last resort option, if undergrade and retrograde reentry attempts fail, is to actually start into all major distal branches so as to restore undergrade flow without placing stents. And finally, when we have an aorta osteal dissection, as in this case, it is important to stand all the way to the aorta, protruding one or two millimeters into the aorta and making sure that the ostium is well covered to avoid any propagation of the hematoma into the ascending aorta. Thank you.